Hi, in this video, we'll see how to create a table and work on different options of a table. Like see, let's see one by one. On this screen, if you see, I have some database that is date, region, sales rep, COGs and sales. Now, if I want to create a table for this data, I have something, a shortcut and a long cut method also. The very shortcut method is I have to keep my cursor in the data and I have to press just from my keyboard control T, T for table. Another alternative is control L, either control L or control T. So once I press control T, I'll get a dialog box. It will automatically select the data. If you see on the screen, the dancing ants are selected automatically. The range is selected. And you see the very first option, it says as my table has headers. That means your table is having a headers. So the checkbox is automatically tick mark and I have to just press OK. So I'll just click on OK. So this way you can create a table in just one second. I repeat in one second itself. Now if you want, I'll press Ctrl Z again just to go back. This was the shortcut method. How about the long cut method? It's the same. I'll just keep my cursor in the data and I'll go to the insert tab. And if you see the third option, it is table. So once I click on this table, you see again the same, it will ask you a dialog box with the headers option. And I have to click on OK. Now if you see the color is automatically given, alternate rows are been colored. If you see west, 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 these are colored and you get this kind of option. Now what is the beauty of this table is, when you create a table, automatically you get sorting, you get filtering, you get sort by color option automatically. So if I click on this drop down, if you see it's the same what I've got in the filter option. So all the options are repeated. Now what is the difference in this? When you get a table, you can just keep on coloring the different options here. Let's see those. Now when I keep my cursor in the table, you see there's a design tab which I'll get automatically. Now if I keep my cursor outside, the design tab goes away. So I'll just keep on this cursor in the table and I'll go to design tab. Now in this video, we'll be seeing how to go for table style options. So those are very simple. So if you see, if I click on this header row, what happens? The header row is displayed and been hidden. So header row is displayed and hidden. So next is, if I want to see the banded rows, what exactly is banded rows? Alternate rows are been banded or colored. So I'll just click on this banded rows and you can see the difference. The alternate rows are banded. Similarly, if I click for alternate columns, that is known as banded columns, you see the difference? Banded columns. So right now I don't want it. Next is if you see the first column, there's an option as first column. If you see the first column of my table will be highlighted, bold, first column. Similarly, if I go for the last column, the last column of my table will be highlighted. That is last column. And there's one more option given here that is filter button. The filter button is used to get the sorting, filtering and different options available. So if I do not want it, I can just remove the filter button from here. Okay, and the last and the much more interesting in this button checkboxes that is the total row. When you have this kind of table and if you want a total count, sum, average, all the functions, it is very easy. So if you see there's a checkbox here total row, when you click on this total row, you'll get automatically a record which will say the record, the total of that column. Now the sales total is automatically given here. Now if you just cross verify, if I select this cells and cross verify, I'll get the same number that is 61809 on the right hand side if you see 61809 so the total is correct but if what if I want I don't want a total I want some other option let's say I want count or minimum maximum anything what I have to do is I have to just click on this cell number cell and I have to click on this drop down and I'll get loads of options available so let's see now if I click on this count option I'll get the count 9 if I select as minimum I'll get the answer as for minimum so minimum number is 62691.11. Similarly, you might be wondering why not for the other column that is COGs. You also will get for COGs definitely. But the thing is you have to keep your cursor in that cell in the last drop down list. So now you'll get a drop down list here and you can select the function which you want. So I'll select the function as sum. So I'll get the sum for this. It's showing as hash because the width of the column is less. So I'll increase the width. Similarly, if you see for sales rep and region, I cannot get a total for that, that is sum, but I can get a count for this. So I'll just click on this option and I can see as count numbers. Definitely these are not the numbers, so the answer will be zero. So if I say count numbers, the answer is zero. But if I want to count how, many, how much text are there, so I can just select here nine. So this way you can get the total row for this column and it is very much more useful. This is all about the table. 
Now the last one is if you want to just color your table into different color formats it's very simple keep your cursor in the data anywhere when it is a table. In the design tab if you see on the right hand side these are known as table styles. So you just click on this drop down you get loads of table styles available. I'll just keep on moving my cursor on those options and you see the change in the color in the table itself. So I'll just move my cursor and if you see the table color changes automatically. So whichever color you think is useful you can pick up. Right now I'll pick up any black color or I'll pick up this orange color. So I'll just click on this orange color and that table color has been applied. So this is the way by which you can create a table and you can apply all the check boxes and you can just change the total row also. That's all for this video. Thank you.